guys welcome to creative cooking in Ani's kitchen I went ahead and changed the name again and took out Chica's kitchen and just put my name in Ani and um, because I still needed to distance myself from the other Chica's kitchen I, I kept seeing I'm still listed in that Un, like kind of underneath that category and I really needed to separate myself from from that category from that listing on YouTube so my channel is now called creative cooking in Ani's kitchen okay and um, I apologize for the changes but you know we have to go with what works best and where people can find you easier and I've just been having feedbacks you know where People are just not asking, oh, what's your channel again? Or they bump into the other channels. So anyway, enough of that. I went ahead and changed it. So hopefully that will all work out best for everyone. And maybe I'll get more viewers um, to enjoy and share with my recipes. Okay, so anyway, today what we're going to do is right now I've got the oven cleaning and I got about 26 minutes left um, for the cleaning process but I want to make some stuff sweet plantain um, I guess empanadas or fritters if you want to call it and the little fried um, like turnovers okay but they're made with sweet plantains and sweet plantains are just the green plantains ripened and they're like um not all the way ripened but you know when you get the skin that looks like this and they're kind of still firm but not real soft yet that is uh prime time to make this dish and this will be dessert and then for dinner i am going to make uh, Salisbury steak. I got the ground meat right there, defrosting. Uh, Salisbury steak dinner. Um, I'm going to use uh, two pie shells, one for the top, one for the bottom. And those are deep dish, store bought, not homemade. And I've got my French onion soup mix and beef broth in there. And I'm, you know, letting that dissolve, which I will include in there. These are my julienne sliced onions i've prepared here's my mushrooms we got carrots got a little thyme and you know we'll go ahead and season i'll season my meats the way i usually season it and then we're going to make um a salisbury steak uh pie so i've not seen it anywhere other than banquet that banquet uh i think sells those little salisbury steak pot pies but I'm going to make a homemade pot pie that way, uh, Salisbury steak homemade pot pie for dinner tonight. But right now the video is going to be on the dessert, which is uh, sweet plantain tur uh, cream filled turnovers. So give me just a second. I'm going to miss my station and let me remove this stuff and I'll be right back. I'll bring you right back. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to slice. We got water starting to boil. Put that on. A... Actually, I can't do that just yet. But until the oven is done, we've got about 20 minutes. I will add a little bit of salt to that water. Anyway, in the meantime, we can go on with the uh, preparing of the plantain. So what you want to do is you want to slice off the ends, okay? And there we go. See, ends sliced off. And then we want to slice in three. Just three pieces. Okay, do the same for this. If the banana is real big, you may get four pieces. But you want them about two inches wide. Okay. All right. Yeah, 
side. This one has four pieces. All right, so that's done. So all of these pieces are going to go into the water as soon as it boils. Now this oven is pretty hot, so let me just go ahead and sit them in the salted water. And in about less than 20 minutes, I'll be back and we'll proceed with that process. You know what we can do in the meantime? We can make a cream filling. How about that? Absolutely. Absolutely we can. So let's get our bowl. Washed out the one I used earlier for the crumb on the French toast casserole. All right, we're going to use now this cream cheese I've had out since this morning, so it is room temperature, and I'm going to use half for the filling. That'll probably be a lot, but I'll use half for the filling, and the um, for this recipe, and the other half I'll use for the mushroom gravy. For the Salisbury steak. Yes, yes, indeed. I do put cream cheese in my Salisbury steak gravy. Get it nice and creamy. Alright, so we'll put in our cream cheese. Okay. Into a bowl. This is fairly simple right here. Real simple. Okay. Put the other half back in the box. And we'll save it for the next recipe. Okay, to this, we want to add a teaspoon of vanilla. touch of about a teaspoon of heavy whipping cream and the rest pouch So I'm going to take my eighth of a cup. I'm going to use it because it's easy to scoop. I'm going to do two of those. Hefty. Alright, we're going to start off with that. Now if you wanted to make it cinnamon filling, whatever. Uh, apple, you can do apple pie spice, pumpkin spice, whatever. I'm just going to leave it vanilla -y. And we're going to whisk this into a creamy substance. Okay, a creamy filling. All you gotta do, I know it gets in there, but just keep turning. It'll come off of there. 
trust me. See? It's starting to come out. Yep. Just keep pulling. Coming out. Alrighty. Now, once you get it nice and whipped like that, you want to taste it for sweetness. Now, you can also do cheese if you like that, you know pastry, salty kind of taste. You can also do cheese with these because the plantain bananas, once they're ripe and they're sweet. So, all right, so here I go to taste. That is just perfect. And this is it for the filling. See how easy that was? That's it. So, I'm going to, you can also add cheese um, to this. So, I'm going to wait the remaining 13 minutes for this, for the oven, self-cleaning oven to stop. And then that way I can start this water to boil. Once I get that to boil, We'll proceed with the, and, and cook enough, we'll proceed with the next step. All right, so I'll be back. Okay, timer has gone off on the self-cleaning oven, although it's still on the lock position because it's still too hot. It won't let me in just yet. However, I can turn on the stove, and I did. And so we've got this on high cooking. So we started that process. I have the cream filling in the refrigerator. I've prepared my bowl to put these in once they're cooked. And we only want them for about 15, 20 minutes in there, if that long. I also, over here at the far end, I have a, a round pan underneath the oven rack because I'm gonna sit the turnovers on top of that to uh, drain down because they'll be fried in oil. So, all right. So as soon as these are cooked, uh, let me put the timer on for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, because they're starting to boil now, as soon as they're done, I'll bring you back and we'll go on with the next process. All right. We've got our plantings cooked. Timer has gone off. So now we're going to take them out and let them cool off some. Okay. it and wipe this down okay so while they are cooking I mean cooling off I should say I said cooking I think what I'm going to do is run them under cold water to make them, let them cool off even faster. So let me go ahead and do that. And I shall bring you guys right back. Okay, so I went ahead and peeled them. They have cooled down. I let them soak in a little bit of cold water. Rinsing them out. So to this, we're going to go ahead and mash 
the bananas. bigger bowl than this but we'll work with it okay once you get it mashed to a mash consistency okay you get that cleaned up We are going to add one large egg. to work that in there together. A little bit of vanilla extract in here. Okay. About a teaspoon. Vanilla extract. Now it's always best to go in with your hands to get a good mix. So that's what I'm going to do. It will be sticky and gooey. That's okay. Get that egg mixed in there really well. Now when the egg will in the dry plantain because they're not wet, uh, we'll bind this together so you can make the patties out of it. to add about a tablespoon a heaping tablespoon of powdered sugar and mix that in there real good to 
add some sweetness. If you have vanilla sugar, you could put that in. Okay. To make these patties, let me give that a taste. I know it's got a little bit of raw egg, but that's fine. That's perfect. to let me get the cream filling in order to handle that dough and add in the refrigerator you will need to oil your hands or butter your hands okay so change this gonna scoop up Some of the dough. And just see that? Okay. And get a spoon for that. dab of cream filling and roll over then you just pinch the ends Now you have the first one. See that? So, I would recommend some flour be laid out. Possibly on a plate. Okay. To sit them on. Okay. Okay, until the So the oil is ready. And that is how we're going to make empanadas. Now this is always best. This uh, batter is always best when you leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours before you start messing with it. Today's Hubster's birthday, so I wanted to give him a little treat, and this, these will be it, okay? Cute little empanadas. 
de plátanos maduros. Ok. Sweet plantain and turnovers. one in. Oil is not as hot as it should be, or as it could be. Let's put it up a little bit. It's frying up in there. And put this one in. Okay. I'm going to do one more and then I'm going to put the batter away until tomorrow and do the rest of them. So he'll have two and I'll have one. I think that's good enough for dessert. we go there's three that's all I'm doing and I will show you the presentation as soon as they're done Here, let me let me explain something. You can always add yeast and more flour and make a bread, a plantain bread out of this. Just to let you know. Okay. So many possibilities. You make biscuits. Possibilities are endless. So I'm gonna put this in here the rest of this dough in here and I'm 
go into the refrigerator. Make some more another day. Turn them over too soon. Okay, I got to get ready to prepare for the Salisbury steak. ways of doing cream fillings this is I find is the easiest by far so tasty in the fridge it goes I think I'm going to use my spider. Alright, these are almost done. In the meantime, let me go ahead and plate the first one. It 
is too big. Put it on a smaller plate. Those are done. Okay, here we go. See, this one with powdered sugar. They're the other two. And we're going to go ahead and open one up. Let me move this out the way. So, let's cut to the first one, shall we? Here we go. You're supposed to wait till they cool off and then bite into it. Mmm, look at that creaminess in the middle. You see that? Absolutely delicious. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Hot, 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 hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is so good. But very hot. <laughs> well, until the next recipe coming up. God bless you all. See you in a minute. Take care of yourselves and one another if you don't join me for the next one.